last night. It got a little messy. <laughs> It's your girl Sierra Sheree Official, and I am back with another official motherfucking video. Before I even get started, I just want to thank y'all so, 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 so much. I have been showing me so much love. Like, when I first put a video back on from my little hiatus, I had like 10,300 and something subscribers, and now we are like 13K. By the time I put this out, we'll probably be past 13k we made it close to 15k fast i appreciate the love so much but before i even get started with this video make sure you like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I i'm here and i'm not going nowhere period so in this video it's gonna be a stripper vlog just a weekend stripper vlog but tonight we are going out it is thursday don't mind the, the mess in the background i've been lounging around all day but i am going on the town tonight um i don't know if this is like a date or what but i don't even know what we're doing actually i know it's probably gonna be something chill so i'm about to get dressed I might do a little series of like dating in Atlanta or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm about to get dressed. It is, I think, like 10 o'clock right now. So I don't plan on being out all night because I got to get up and go to the gym tomorrow. So, but yeah, my makeup and hair is done. I still have to lay like my little baby hairs or whatever. But I'm going to come back when I finish getting dressed. So this is what I'm wearing, y'all. Just this, like, we cut bodysuit. Giving very much body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Mm, I went ahead and lined my lips. I'm putting on my Rick Owens. Something real chill. I'm doing my YSL still bad. Real chill vibes. I'm about to leave the house, so I'm gonna let y'all know how this go. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know. Slim thick, slim thick with that. Mm. Y'all know I couldn't leave without getting that good old fridge light. I don't know if y'all can tell like what I meant by my other setting powder was giving like dewy and this is giving more of a matte look so it's friday it's the weekend so when i say i'm gonna stop drinking like i'm gonna stop drinking i was so drunk last night y'all but i had a really good time i had a really 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 good time he wasn't a weirdo he wasn't a weirdo um but i'm on a time crunch right now so let me go ahead and do my makeup and i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get done doing what i gotta do my wig is on. I just finished cutting it this length. Um, it got a little brown, little highlights in it. But I keep these wigs on deck. <laughs> I keep these wigs on deck. But let me go ahead and do my makeup because it's almost 10 o'clock. And I need to be out of here by 11. So, yeah. I'm going to talk to y'all about my date and everything. He's really sweet. Like, he opened my door. Because we drove, we drove in separate cars because... 
he asked if I wanted him to pick me up, but I was like, no, we can uh, drive and separate cars. But yeah, he opened my door. Anytime we got out the car and was getting back in the car, he opened my door and he got in the car like, <sighs> but yeah, okay. Let me do what I gotta do, bye. Hey y'all, so I am on the way to work. Um. So let me just give y'all a brief synopsis of last night. We went to this place called Sovereign Sweets or something like that. I hadn't eaten, so he went and fed me. I had some bomb salmon, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. It was so good. The salmon was so flavorful. Why did I go this way? Hold on. Y'all, well, I am so aggravated. Not by work, but soon. Well, first of all, it was so much traffic on the highway. I didn't even think I was going to make it to work tonight, y'all. Seriously. Um, I was... That's why I couldn't, you know, record and tell y'all about my date yesterday. Well, I ain't gonna say it with the date because the date is you taking me to dinner or something, real chill vibes, you know, whatever. But I let it out in yesterday. Um, and then when I got to work, one of the security guards was tripping. Like, how many times I done brought my camera to the club? So tonight he wanted to be top flight and tell me that I couldn't bring my camera into the club. Like, I'm going to be taking pictures of people and, like, no, this is about me. And you fucking with my money. And I don't like that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and touch on my date. So, yesterday was really pretty chill. He took me to this place called Sovereign Sweets. Um, he had already eaten, but I told him I hadn't eaten. And he was taking forever. I would have ate something earlier. But got me some nice little salmon with some mashed potatoes. And I think it was broccolini and not asparagus. From what it said on the menu, that wasn't asparagus. It was broccolini, but it was still good. Everything was good. Had me a couple of lemon drops. And then we went to this club called Opium where some of his friends had pulled up. Mind y'all, we got there early as fuck, so there wasn't nobody in the club. It's an after hour spot, and I don't think people start coming until like four o'clock. We got there probably at like 3 15, so we were just sitting down, chilling, talking. And he fine, he fine, and he got good hair. <laughs> but the only thing about it, y'all, is he got three kids. And he might not be, you know, my husband, but he's very, very sweet. Like, he's very sweet. One thing about it, all his kids is by the same woman. So, that's good. He basically said they kind of made, like, a pact to not have kids outside of, you know, their situation. Even though I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. But it was one day... I talked to him earlier today. He was like, um, why you didn't call me? Because I think we were both just poop from last night. He was like, why you didn't call me? Um, text me or nothing like that. He was like, it's okay if you didn't have a good time. And I was like, nah, I had a good time or whatever. But yeah, y'all, he's very sweet. He got some business about himself. He's not like no street nigga. So that's a plus that's a plus but it's a three kid thing that i can't really get by he showed me pictures of his kids he got an 11 year old a four year old and a three year old so yeah i don't know i know whoever my husband is gonna be his parents are still married after i think like 32 years so he got some decorum about himself and i'm pretty sure he know how to treat a woman but it's just a three kids thing because I just feel like, you know, whoever I decide to marry and end up with, not even I, but whoever God decides to, you know, align me with, they're not going to have kids because I don't have any kids except for Kingston. But 
I just feel like they're not gonna have kids and you know yeah so yeah but tonight was okay I got into Janelle Monae's section even though she got four girls at first and then she wanted to swap the girls out but she wanted to keep me and one other girl so we went downstairs freshened up by the time we got back upstairs she had two more girls so she danced them for the rest of the night i had got into this two person like me and this other girl danced for this guy and these girls and then i ended up dancing for like this group of people so yeah i had scraped up some coins let me see let me see y'all So I have 600 here and honestly that's been the tempo for like the last couple weeks which is just it's cool because a lot of people don't make this in a couple hours so I'm forever grateful but I need them thousand dollar two thousand dollar nights to roll the fuck back in but I know it's the holiday season people trying to get their kids stuff family stuff so I'm not tripping but I just want the give me that thousand dollars give me that 15 honey you know but yeah made probably a little over six i had a sale of a hundred i tipped the dj 25 and yeah i put the little scraps in my purse just for like spending money so it was cool the baby had a concert here and I think they said the after party was at Onyx. So a lot of people, I'm pretty sure, went to Onyx. Last night he was in the lore, spent the fucking bag. But he coming to Magic. We say tomorrow or even on Monday he gonna come in Magic. When he come in Magic, he cut the fuck up. So yeah. But that's a little synopsis on my date and work tonight. I'm gonna have to sneak y'all in because you're not gonna tell me that I can't bring my camera in. When I done bought this motherfucker in plenty of times, like you're not gonna tell me that I can't bring my camera in. So we're gonna have to hide y'all. And you know, yeah. But I got a little bit of footage on my phone or whatever. But it's nothing like this camera quality. So yeah. Tomorrow, I don't really have much going on. I have to go pick up some shoes that I ordered from Kids Foot Locker at the mall. Um, I'm probably not going to get my nails done to Sunday. And I'm about to, you, you know the deal, take this wig off because I like sleeping in my straight backs. I'm about to wash my makeup off. And yeah, y'all. We five subs away at this very moment from 13k so thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all what's up y'all i am back at home i just got here honestly probably like the last 30 minutes um i had went to the mall and picked me up a salad from chick-fil-a <laughs> so i had ordered these new balances they're so cute like they're so cute and I'm probably gonna order the black ones too because these look really good on my feet. But I had ordered some new balances and I had been trying to call Kids Foot Locker for like the last week because they came in on Wednesday and nobody was answering the phone. Like I called multiple times. They talking about, oh, we busy. What they gotta do with somebody answering the phone? So I had gotten some new balances and, and I had got me a, Chicken salad. So I'm about to chill. It's 5:30. So yeah, like kick my feet up. Until it's time for me to get ready for work. But. I can't wait to style those new balances. They're fire as fuck. 
There's some called 2002R. And those are even fire, like even more fire. But sold out in my size and they only come in men's. So all of the six and half, six and a half that I want to try to get been sold out. But they have like a green, a yellow, and um, they have a gray pair too. But they also have like some other like mixes of colors. But those are fire as well. Some cute little run around shoes. I'll probably put them on tomorrow when I go and run my errands as far as getting my nails and stuff done. I just wanted to come check in with y'all. <sighs> Probably gonna do black hair tonight. I cut this wig too. And I honestly think I like them better at like this boob length. So yeah, I just threw my little brown set on today with my little hat and I put on my little black jacket. And I was so tired. I didn't go to sleep till like seven o'clock. So I woke up. I had an alarm set for like 12.45, but I didn't get out the bed y'all until like 1.40. I need all my rest, don't care. And I also bought like this um, water repellent shoe cleaner. So yeah, I'm about to eat my salad. Drank my greens. I meant to drink this before I even left the house earlier. I love these sets because they just, mm, they just do something to my body. Get greedy sitting here in my face. He just greedy. <laughs> hey, yo, papa. Hey, old man. But I will check back in with y'all once I am done getting myself together and everything. Probably for work. But I'm sneaking y'all in tonight. Because you're not going to tell me I can't bring my camera in. And I've been doing this shit. So, yeah. But until then. What's up, y'all? So, I am... This is so ratchet, like me putting my camera in the refrigerator. <laughs> I got a ring light, I got a vanity, but I don't know if it's just something about this light that just. So I am about to go ahead and head out. This is a face. I put on the same thing that I had on earlier because my ass was clean and I only went to two places. Judge your mama, not me. Okay uh yeah so i'm gonna have to tuck y'all probably in my boot to sneak y'all in like why do i even have to do that i'm about to go so bye <laughs> So, tonight was a good night, first and foremost, but feature supposed to be coming in here. What's up, y'all? I am on the way to the nail salon. It's pouring down rain in Atlanta right now, so... I just threw this little set on with some glasses, a little Nike hat, and doing these sneakers. So, yeah. I have that, like, brown. You know, I'm giving 50 shades of brown or whatnot. I love Y'all, it's raining so bad. Let me get y'all the tea after I leave my nail appointment and get back home. Last night, it got a little messy. <laughs> I'd 
recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh, and I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Nigga, that ain't good game, homie, sorry They say conversation, ruin a nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs Unless I write it down for real y'all how it got real messy last night so when feature before feature and everybody even got to the club they wanted 20 girls they wanted 20 girls so i got my wristband before like any probably of the other 15 got their wristband i had just finished dancing for um somebody and i had ended up stopping because i'm like what's going on wait just gave me a wristband introduced myself to baby j whatever ran downstairs put my bag in a locker that i had just made and i went right back upstairs so once i um went back upstairs all of these girls started coming upstairs y'all come to find out the office lady because they told us not to say anything when they get wristbands out first why the fuck, y'all, why the fuck the office lady that takes the sales at the end of the night tell everybody, oh, if you want to be in future section, future, if you want to be in future after party, then pay your sales or whatever. So all of these bitches start coming upstairs and they looking confused because they can't get a wristband. Like, just messy, just messy. So once she did that, it's hella girls upstairs now. And everybody just looking around. Well, they turned the lights and stuff back off, turned the music and stuff back on. A few girls hopped on stage. It was a few girls in the section where Future actually was. Then there was a section across from there, which we call the H, that had people in it. So it was a few girls there. And then it was some. It was a couple girls beside the section that Future was in. Well, they started throwing money, whatever. It's still confusion on, you know, if you don't have a green wristband, then you got to go. So, they said it a couple times, like, two-fourths through the way of, like, people dancing. They make another list, and it's even more shortened. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't on that list originally. So, everybody's looking like, you know, what's going on? We've been here. If that was the case, we could have left at 3 o'clock. I stayed because... One thing I know is what's for me is going to be for me. And I always say this. Well, at the end of the night, it becomes a whole issue because girls was like, you know, oh, we was here. Woo, woo, woo. And they're saying, oh, well, they said they called the list. So, you know, you should have listened to that list and got on off out of here. Well... When I came downstairs, the waitress ended up adding me and two other girls to the list. So once my name was on that list and was secured because she called the list out before everybody dispersed. Once my name was on there, I was like, deuces. It was a few girls downstairs still like heated because why am I not on this list? Once I got home, they sent out a final list. Let me show y'all. Because your girl was at the top. Henny, okay. And if y'all didn't know, I go by Hennessy at work. <laughs> but anyways, I'm good. So they told us to be back at seven on Monday. 
and you know this is the list and it's still girls it was probably like eight girls they chose over 20 girls but it's at least like eight girls who didn't get picked that was dancing and stuff and i'm not gonna lie if i was one of those girls and i didn't get my name on that list i would be you know heated too because when i say my feet was burning my feet was on fire y'all my feet was on fire i'm on there so it's not really much i can do and i doubt they gonna you know fix it or break them off or any of that you ain't on that list you ain't on that list and that's 17 girls and i honestly don't even know how much money they spent we got three black trash bags with money in it so hopefully it's a cool little 30 piece or something that way we all you know get at least 1500 or something like that but yeah but y'all remember i was just talking about how I ain't had like a thousand dollar, two thousand dollar night, and look what I have. Gotta be at the club at seven tomorrow. Um, I'm debating what time I want to go to the gym because I do want to go to the gym tomorrow. So yeah, I'm debating. And y'all, I don't think I like the dude that I went out with the other day. Because it's just like, why you keep talking about my money? Like the day before yesterday, we were on the phone. And he was like, he asked me how long I had been working at Magic. And I told him, I've been working at for probably like a solid two years now. He was like, oh, well, you should be a millionaire by now. I said, I, I take breaks and everything. Like, I don't let the club consume me. So... He was like, yeah, I feel you. So when I was at the nail salon, he called me and I think he asked how work was last night or something like that, which is not, you know, out of the normal for nobody to ask. And I told him I didn't leave work till like six o'clock. Teacher had an after party or whatever. So I had asked him like, what you doing outside? Cause it was pouring down rain and it's been raining all day. And he was like, shoot, I'm trying to get some of that money like y'all got last night. Like what? I don't know y'all, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I just like, my icks are like, yeah. Yeah, they, they're there. Um, and it's like, you already got three kids. <laughs> so, Oh, look, my niecey poo text me. But I'm about to get undressed, climb back in the bed, because I didn't go to bed till like eight o'clock this morning. And I was back up before my alarm even went off, y'all. I was back up at 12, like 12 o'clock. So your girl needs a nap. I'm gonna get up, edit this full video tonight, more than likely. Because it's not that long. It's just a 24 hours with me vlog. And then I'm probably just going to chill. Making something to eat. Want to get to the gym at like 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I can be out of there before 1.30. So I can come home chill before i go to work tomorrow because if i get there at seven i'm not leaving by the time we finish that money it's gonna probably be like nine o'clock ten o'clock so it just wouldn't make sense for me to leave but yeah i'll have back on here a little later and chat with y'all So, I went ahead and bust my personal bag down. I had a section that I was in early in the night, but because we stayed at the club so late, 
I wasn't able to get my money, so it's sitting in the office. So this plus whatever we made in the section, which was probably like 400 or something like that, maybe, is what I made by myself. And then I have my section from future. Back up. Back up. Thank you. You're such a good boy. So I'm about to go ahead and count this with y'all. And these are in 25, so that's 100. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, my tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day the number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the glass, man, a cheapskate hump? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had, so it did what I did. Never turn my back on every G. Got the bed. Heard you got. 75, 675. What's up, y'all? So today is Tuesday. Last night I went to work, and y'all, we are still in the process of getting this bag split down. Like, we didn't count it yesterday, which was Monday. I'm actually kind of glad because I went to the gym yesterday, and then to have to rush to work and then go to work last night i just would have been exhausted i'm still exhausted but i just left the estheticians and currently i have um the process of appeal starting so i'm gonna be off work for the next week which i honestly needed because yeah but i just threw this hoodie that i had on the other day on and y'all know my favorite pants I just love comfortable shit like I just love being comfortable so I am about to go up to the club I have to wash this off at I think six either six or seven I'm gonna have to call and check but so I'm probably gonna be doing that while I'm there it's not like the charrette peel where I had that red ass mask on all damn day and night. It's not like that. So, so it's like that kind of pill. She told me I had to wash it off in four hours from when I got it put on. And it's called the VI Precision Peel. And this is the little kit that they gave me sunscreen, face wash, um, a calming balm or something like that. I'll probably take it out of the pack once, you know, yeah. I'm about to go back up here, y'all, and get this money split down because it's just been a whole messy ass situation. Like, it's just been a whole messy ass situation. And honestly, if I had not got picked I would have been okay because it's just been a lot it's just been a lot but let me go ahead get to this damn club and yeah so we are at the club y'all What's up, 
up y'all so i am finally finally back home i don't know if it's because i'm tired it felt like that took forever in a day but we had three different bags that had money in them so we had to break that down but long story short we came home with Thirteen twenty-five. So we originally made sixteen seventy-five, and all of us had to give two hundred out of each pal out of the eighteen girls because it was eighteen, not seventeen, when it should have been seventeen. But one of the girls didn't have wristband or her name wasn't on the list. But from my understanding, she was causing a fit at the end of the night. Uh, but I don't even give a fuck about any of that. I'm just so glad this shit is over. So we originally made $16.75 and we had to give Baby J 200 out of each 18 pals so she could have her cut. I don't know if y'all know who that is. She'd be with a bunch of rappers and all of that shit. Um, so she made 36 off of us. Then we tipped the waitress 50 each. So she made 900. Then we had to give another 100 for the girls who basically didn't get in the cut that stayed or whatever. So they all got like 200 a piece off of the 18 of us. Paying too many folks. I had a great night. Y'all, my mind is just all over the place. But I ended up having a really good night Saturday. From the beginning of my vlog when I did my first money count, you guys saw how I was saying that I had money at the club. Well, that ended up being like $350. I had a $100 sale. So when I got to work on Monday, I had two... 250 plus the six that I counted for you guys it was really more I probably made because that was 675 plus the 250 that I made so I made like $900 on my own plus the 16 so I made like $2,500 $2,600 on Saturday which was bomb as hell that was bomb yeah that was really good on saturday and i'm just so glad this shit is over i can finally close this vlog out for y'all but i'm exhausted i'm exhausted and i'm just glad this shit is over so yeah we came back with 13.25, which is hella good. They spent over $30,000 Saturday for 17 girls to make that. But when I say downstairs when we was counting the money and everything was just laid out, the bitches was gonna drive me crazy. Like everybody was acting so slow and trying to move too fast. One girl was like, she not giving Baby Jade, no money. She not giving the waitress no money because the waitress didn't pick her. Baby J didn't pick her. Future actually did. So it was just a lie. It was a lie. And I'm glad that shit is over and done with so I can close this vlog out. I just ordered me some bar taco that should be here pretty soon. Yep, my shit is six minutes away. So that's it. That's all. This was a weekend stripper vlog. Friday, what did I make Friday? I don't know, it's somewhere in the beginning. <laughs> Saturday, I made 25 26 I counted up 675 with y'all, plus 250 that's nine. So yeah, I made a little over nine on Saturday. Then, we got this, that's 13 is what I actually, you know, have in hand. But if you count the 16, 
75 plus the nine, 25. I really made like $2,700. Let me do that math, hold on. Hold on one second. Six, six, seventy-five plus three fifty plus ten seventy-five equals yeah. So I made twenty-seven hundred Saturday. So that was that was great. Came home with. 13.25 I already cashed in my other money for big bills so yeah and I, I had some other money sitting around so I took 14. Yeah, I took 14 plus the two from the section. Went ahead and cashed that in. Y'all, I'm so tired. I can't even do the numbers right now. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for liking. Thank y'all for subscribing. It's Sierra Cherie official. And I'm fucking out.